Boy Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another predictions video. I'm excited because tomorrow we got WWE Day 1. I'm excited for it. It's got a stacked card. Let's run through the predictions real quick. It's not on any particular order, but here are my thoughts. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to win, who you think is going to win each match. The first one, we're going with uh, Ray DRK Bro versus the Street Profits. Um, I'm digging what they're doing with Randy and Riddle. Um, I don't think they're going to take the titles off of them yet. Um, the Street Profits just came back. You know how WWE likes to do weird things, but I got Rated RK Bro holding on to the titles. Next match is uh, Drew McIntyre versus Moss. Drew McIntyre is going to win. Prediction right there. Really don't care about this whole Drew McIntyre, Corbin, just Madcap Moss, whatever. Drew McIntyre. The next match, um, I'm truly excited for, um, in my heart, I want Liv Morgan to win. It's Liv Morgan versus Becky Lynch. Um, I enjoyed their, their main event match on Raw. It was good. Um, Liv Morgan has stepped up. Becky Lynch knows how to make a star. Um, but I want Liv Morgan to win. That's my prediction. Hopefully they do that. They posted a picture on their Instagram WWE likes to do stuff like this, and then so you don't see the out, so you can assume that the outcome is going to be the other way. I'm hoping that they pull the trigger on Liv Morgan. She's been busting her ass, and you know she's earned it. The next match, um, Edge versus The Miz. Um, I see this going one of two ways, and you're probably going to see it the same way too. I see Miz winning with Maurice interfering. They bring Beth Phoenix back, mix tag match, either at the Rumble or Mania. Um, I see Miz winning. I don't really care for this. Um, Edge has come back, and I just feel like he's not being used to his full potential as a comeback. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a good match. Um, but I see Miz winning, and then they do a tag match with Beth. Edge, Maurice, and Miz. Um, yeah. Next match, the Usos versus the New Day. Now, whenever they have a tag team match, um, there's always a new champion. I feel like I don't. I don't feel like there has been that many times that they've successfully retained a title. Um, but it's gonna be a good match. These guys can't have a bad match. Um, so yeah, so I'm going with the Usos to retain the titles. They're gonna have a good, they're gonna have a very good match. I think it's gonna be the better of the two tag matches. Um, also, they can go <laughs> with the New Day. They just made uh, Xavier Woods the king, um, but I, I think they're gonna keep it on the um, on the Usos. Just my opinion. Um, the next match is the Fatal Four Way match. Now this one was 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 tricky for me to try to pick a winner because. They've had Bobby Lashley dominating all three characters, all three superstars characters, um, but beating each one of them in one day, in one night. Um, they could go that route. Kevin Owens just signed a new contract. Um, they could go that route to keep him happy. Um, but you know, I like I, I'm digging you know the 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 concept of of the big fatal four way and what they're doing. Seth Rollins has been on another level since he became the drip God and the character that he's become is just so fun. Um, and then Big E, um, they pulled the trigger on Big E when he cashed in money in the bank and he's been, he's been killing. He's been having some decent matches, um, good title defenses. Um, but if I had to pick one, um, I'm gonna go with Seth Rollins, the drip god. Um, he has been killing it. Like his whole persona, the character, um, he hasn't had a world title since he lost it to The Fiend a couple years ago. He hasn't had the WWE Championship in longer than that. Um, and I think um, having a, a chicken shit heel as a champion, we're, we're due for. Um, because, I mean, The Miz was champion for a week. Um, but I think this version of Seth Rollins will will be really, really good as champion. Um, so, Seth Rollins for the win. And the main event. 
Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Now, again, um, this match is going to be interesting because there's just so many pieces in this match. Um, you got already Roman and Brock. You got the fact that Brock beat up Sammy, their whole little feud that's going on. Um, and then you got the fact that Paul Heyman just got fired by Roman. Um, too many key components. And then you got the Usos that can potentially help Roman. Um, I mean, as you could probably see, who I think is going to win. Because I think WWE wants to break, have Roman break uh, Brock's, what, 503? 504? Days as champion? It'll be somewhere here how long he was champion. Um, but again, you got maybe Sami Zayn trying to maybe screw Brock out of his championship. Um, you got Paul Heyman maybe trying to screw Roman, or it was a plot for with Roman and Paul to to Aston. to have Brock not really figure out what's going to go on. You got the Usos to come out. Just so many key components, but I think they're going to go with uh, the Tribal Chief to break the record for longest reigning universal champion. I don't, I just don't see them having Roman drop it before Mania. I mean, they've already given Roman so many accolades and going into WrestleMania two years in a row as a champion, that just adds on, adds on. And to beat, you know, Brock's reign as the longest reigning universal champion, they, there's just too much for, for it to, not go Roman's way. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking, uh, no, I want the Tribal Chief to win. Um, let me know down in the comments who you think is gonna win. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, Happy New Year. Gosh, yes, Happy New Year in a couple hours. So enjoy the pay-per-view. Have a Happy New Year. Stay safe. And like always, see you in the next one.